there. It's my lady. I just wanted to just give you a just because reading. Just because Thanksgiving is tomorrow and I don't know. I just wanted to give you a just because reading. Okay? So let's jump in there. What's going on with Arius? Just because for Arius. What's going on? So, Arius. Um, Three-party situation. Basically, um, demands that are being put on you. Looks like something that's falling apart. Some, or basically something that's, that fell apart. Okay, um, I almost feel that you're feeling like there's a relief with this, okay? And it's something that you can be completely secure about, and it's showing me it's something in the home, okay? It's also showing me uh, something that has to do with the past is what it's showing me, okay? So it is showing me that you are going to be going in blindly in a situation. There will be progress for you. And I also see some, uh, uh, like a helping hand, a, a generosity, like, like basically I help you, you help me is what I'm showing here. Okay, that's what's going on with Arius. What's going on with Torres? Just because for Torres. Because Taurus, I'm showing, um, let's see here. It's showing me, um, Taurus, about you having to change your mindset about something. I want to tell you, and this is what I'm feeling stop being so angry, stop fighting. I feel like you're on a rampage. For what reason? Why? Why are you so angry? Hmm? Um, kids? That's what I'm showing, maybe? Kids are, uh, <laughs> you know. And I, I feel like they're grown kids at that. <clears throat> I see a, a Queen of Cups here. That's a, uh... Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I see a King of Swords here. That's uh, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But you know what I see here as well, Taurus? I see that it's all going to work itself out. Just let it work itself out. You know, I see love. I see desire. You know? You know, you're wearing yourself sick for no reason. Basically, yeah. Um, this reading for me here is looking like more like, um, you know, the mommy role, the daddy role, making sure that everything's in order. Okay, and where it's letting, uh, also letting me know that you want to make sure that you have enough, but you will have enough. You have enough here. And it's big. This card jumped out. All right. You need to take order, or rather control, but in situations where you have to let the your grown kids be grown because they want to be grown. They're grown. Gotta cut the umbilical cord somewhere, really, because what's going to end up happening is just going to be disorder, and that we don't want. Okay? Alright, so, that was Taurus. What's going on with Gemini? Gemini, Gemini. Who's coming in? Who's coming? Uh, who's coming um, to Thanksgiving, Gemini? Hmm? Let's see here. Well, whoever's coming to thank uh, th to Thanksgiving, all right. 
it is letting me know that um all right flat out you know what i see here gemini is basically uh we have to hold our tongue okay we're trying to have a peaceful thanksgiving where there's no drama family time you know uh you know be grateful thank god for what we have so the fact that looks like here that you're going to be hurting someone's feelings and somebody's going to be hurting your feelings it's not even worth it okay um i do show here that there will be conversations that conversations that will reach agreements okay and um i do see that you know that once you have this conversation because it feels like you've been holding in a lot gemini you've been holding it so once you get this conversation out the way uh there will be tranquility is what i'm showing that's what i have for you gemini cancer what does cancer need to know just because cancer oh cancer your intuition is on point it's telling me you have feelings on things here i feel re rebirth i see love and respect Abundance. You're the Empress here. Cancer. That's what I'm showing here. Beautiful. See a lot of good. Uh, I, I feel a really good vibe here for you. Now, don't let um, any negative thoughts sneak in, okay? Because whatever happened, happened, and it happened for a reason, all right? And because these changes that are coming for you is what I'm showing, there's nothing we could do about it. We just have to face it, okay? I see investments. Okay, I see transformation. So that's the changes that are that's coming in. Okay? No time for regrets. No time for regrets. All right, that's what I got for you, Cancer. What's going on with Leo? What does Leo need to know? Huh? What's going on with Leo? Give me a just because for Leo, huh? Just because for Leo? Leo, you gotta change your mind uh your mindset about something. You gotta think of something differently. Not be so hard on yourself. Is what I just heard. The justice, you got judgment, you got justice here. That's the divine stepping in on a divine uh, intervention for you here. Okay, I see a lot of people here, a lot of people involved. All right, I see something that's going to be revealed to you. Something that's going to be revealed to you. All right, it's letting me know that despite bad beginnings, good things will come. I see a queen of wands here. That's um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, possibly yourself. Um, a king of pentacles here, uh, which is uh, the Taurus, um, Virgo, Capricorn energy. I see a king of wands as well. Um, so both uh, male and female, your uh, your energy is here. Um, I see the strength card. It's telling me uh, that you have to have patience here. It's telling me something as far as you being, you going in blindly in a situation. Uh, uh, a divine intervention here due to some secrets. Um, it's like, uh, it looks like you went to war and came back. You were, um, there's some children involved here, some difficulties. You're actually looking back at the situation and reflecting and wondering, did you do the right thing? 
okay but it is letting me know that if you haven't done it already you will know what to do is what it's showing me here okay that was like a whole reading for you huh leo what's going on with um virgo virgo you as well have secrets here you're going to be given the tools that you need to move forward. Um, this is going to happen pretty fast for you. Now, I do see a favorite, favorable uh, situation turn bad because of the um, secrets that, came, that uh, were kept from you. That's what I'm showing here. There's regeneration here. Something has to fall apart for something else to begin. Yeah, something has to fall apart for something else to begin. Because there, uh, there, there's changes. There, there are changes that are here. And there's nothing we can do about it. And the reason why these changes are coming is so that there could be love and desire here. Love and understanding you know, a uh, partnership, a fair um, partnership is what I'm hearing. What's going on with Libra? Libra, you're going to get what you want uh, uh, regarding a situation. Um, it looks like it was a toxic situation. Despite bad beginnings, good things will come. Okay. Um, I'm showing something um, from afar. Are you traveling? Um, are you planning on traveling? There's a... Uh, looks like you're going to be uh, taking a leap of faith and taking your chances on a situation. And you're going to be given the tools that you need uh, to do so. Okay. I see an ending of something here. Changes. Um, the sun card is here. So you're. it looks like you're definitely going to get what you want. You're standing in your, um, in your reading here. Okay. And again, you're going to go blindly in a situation. All right. This right here basically means there's love and res mutual respect and I see you hard at work and with studies or um, I see a job offer here too. Okay, good for you. Okay, that's Libra. What's going on with some, um, what's going on with Scorpio? Just because just because. What does Scorpio need to know? Just because. Scorpio. Just because. Scorpio, you gotta change your, um, your attitude about something, or rather your mindset about something. Uh, there were some secrets that came about. Something that was kept from you. Uh, some deception. Forget the secrets. Deception. But you found out about it. I also see that you got what you wanted from it too. You know, after it came um, to light, is what I'm showing here. Conversations that will reach agreement. Um, um, now, what are these uh, two kings up against? like one is one is holding their hand out like let me help you and the other one is being defensive and saying no you know and they got their their sword up so this king of pentacles is a taurus a, a taurus virgo um capricorn and this king, uh, king of swords is an aquarius a uh, gemini libra or aquarius okay it's telling you to have patience Okay, it, it is advising you to have patience. All right, 
infidelity it, it's not necessarily a relationship as far as infidelity infidelity would be the same it would be this deception here okay that was discovered okay but you're going to be given the strength that you need all right get over this sadness or whatever you're going through because there's going to be a rebirth if it hasn't already because i feel like you're right now healing from it or rather you're overcoming the outcome is what i just heard okay scorpio what's going on with sagittarius just because sagittarius what's it just because sagittarius what's going on just because sagittarius Sagittarius, just because. News that you're going to receive. News, good news that you're going to receive from this emperor here. All right, it's something you could be completely secure about. Okay. Um, there is a warning here. It is, um, it's basically letting you know there is, um, Life skills, knowledge, good health, okay? I see this uh, Queen of Swords here uh, that is, um, I want to say, on your side, uh, by your side. That's a, um, that could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. I also see this Queen of Wands, and that could also be yourself because that is your, um, uh, your element there. Or your energy okay so this Empress came up again I see consistency all right um, you may feel like you're alone but you're not there's a decision that you're gonna eventually have to make is it a decision that you're gonna have to make eventually between these two Queens um, Sagittarius and um, I mean, it looks like um, if uh, for one, you may be leaving behind um, one with children where you feel like there'll be difficulties, okay, and anguish, all right, but there's going to be an agreement, okay, conversations that will reach agreement is what I'm showing there. Is that what's going on with you, Saj? What's going on with some um, uh, Capricorn? Despite bad beginnings, good things will come, Capricorn. Looks like a decision you had to make. Uh, a favorable decision, uh, good turning bad. You got the sun card. It is saying that whatever is going on is going to work itself out. Okay. Um, I almost want to hear something like maybe car problems. Are you having car problems? Or you can't get yourself where you need to go or get to. Um, but you, uh, whatever problem you have here, okay? I mean, I, I felt car, and that's why I said that. All right, but you're gonna have the money. You're gonna be, you're gonna have the money to be able to to resolve that problem because I do see clearly money here, okay? And it's something. Uh, the money is gonna be. Uh, you're not expecting it, okay? So, I mean, I do see that there was anguish. I see revenge here. I see somebody moving away. Something coming back from the past. And you were given hope. And there's progress here. Okay, so you do have the hope party. I do see progress here. Okay, Capricorn. What's going on with Aquarius? Just because. Just because Aquarius. Jokes because Aquarius. 
So, Aquarius, some secrets that, that uh, was revealed. You're in you're all in your head. There are conversations that will reach agreement. I am showing something in, in the house. Change your mindset, change your approach, change your attitude. I mean, I see the results of, of you being happy about it or the outcome. It does look like something's going to fall apart. Um, it's a decision that you have to make among, um, I see here two women. Okay. Now, I don't see any uh, love cards, so it doesn't necessarily have to be two women. It's possibly, basically, just uh, you're undecisive about something. It doesn't necessarily have to be love with the two women. It could be uh, where you're going, you know, which, which direction you're going to take. Okay. Um, the, uh, the divine's going to step in and kind of give you that little push that you need to make the right decision. I do see that. Okay. So there will be consistency. Wisdom. I see wisdom here. I see a, a, a skill or a trade um, that you take on. Okay. Um... Um, I want to say um, uh, something that's going to be rolling for you, like your something, something that's going to be is going to start rolling for you. And and basically, what I meant more like uh, maybe uh, business is going to pick up for you now, or you know, um, being able to um, um, get back on track on something here. Is what I'm showing. What exactly it is. I feel that these two women have something to do with it. And I do see the, the conversations reaching agreements. And basically this has you worried. I see you worried with it. Okay. Aquarius. Last but not least. Pisces. What's going on with Pisces? Pisces, it looks like you're, you're testing the waters. There was a toxic situation. Or there is a toxic situation here where it's letting me know that there was an ending on it. Okay, uh, third party situation or third party demands. Um, but it's letting me know that you have um, took a leap of faith. Going blindly in a situation. Okay, testing the waters on that. Something that's coming in fast for you. Alright, you're the empress here. Okay, you're the one that's showing me here with, with wisdom and life skills. And uh, you're working hard so that you could have enough to give is what I'm showing here. I do see uh, some uh, generosity coming in for you and that you're going to finally see the fruits of your labor. Okay, on a, uh, uh, basically on a situation that drained you, that basically took, took a lot from you. And that you can be completely secure about. Okay, no need for revenge. Got revenge here. You don't need to do that. There's no need for that. You will be wasting your time if you're doing that. Okay, because what you need, not this revenge, what you need is this, tranquility. Okay, that's what I have for you, Pisces. And that's basically what I have for you guys on your Just Because reading. Have a beautiful Thanksgiving. Bye-bye.